The coherence of technology or EOT is the process to ensure a fair competition between different technologies during the course of Dakar. Let me show you. EOT was first implemented at 2023 Dakar. Some teams had been concerned about a hybrid car which uses electrical engine. They were afraid that this technology would bring them a very high advantage that we could not have foreseen. So they wanted a way to be able to adjust the performances during the race if the gap was just too important. So we are now at uh, Service Park. I'm here to download the data of the cars that are equipped with a, a data logger. Hello, can I access the car and download the data? To compute the EOT, we uh, gather the data of the cars. So it's mainly acceleration data from GPS coordinates. So we can have an estimation of the raw performance of the car as it was during the stage. Thank you very much. Yeah, no problem. We also have to consider that all the cars may not have the same weight or some may not be using all the power they are allowed to. So we also have to sanitize this data and correct on the weight and on the power. So this is why every day we are weighting the cars and we are also estimating the delta power compared to uh, what they are allowed to run. So in addition to the raw data, we have this sanitized data on which the EOT is based. Trying to balance all these cars is a big challenge for the FIA, so all the EOT does is simplify that and measure the acceleration. This leaves the engineers the job to make the car faster via the chassis, suspension and uh, dynamic handling of the car. At the end what uh, comes out should be the, uh, the skills of the driver, the skill of the team, but uh, nothing, so we should not have uh, advantage or disadvantage coming from uh, the different technologies. The challenges in the car is that we have a lot of cars which are very different. We have hybrid cars, normally aspirated petrol cars, turbocharged petrol cars, turbocharged diesel cars. We also have buggies, so two-wheel drive, T3, T4, T5. So we need to ensure that there is a fair competition between all these stakeholders. The EOT is working. This year we computed exactly the same calculations and we found out that the performance were very leveled and there was no justification to adjust them or to give more or less power to, to one of the other. We can see that the competition is very close between the T1U and the T1 Plus. After the car, we conduct a very comprehensive performance analysis to try and understand what happened during the two weeks of Dakar and make adjustments for the, the next season. So as you can see, this is my job. I hope you have now a better understanding about the EOT and performance analysis uh, in cross country. Um, it's a long, long night for me, I think, uh, ahead of me. Uh, probably no sleeps. So I leave you guys uh, and I go to collect the data of the next car. See you.